This guide shows how to use JS for DOM manipulation and in this example it's using jQuery and in this test it is getting the username div and setting a text with the username and, and the logged text. So basically for the test we'll have to have a document with a span, actually not a div, a span with the username tag and also a button. Okay, so let me create a project with this example and let's test it. Okay, I'll have to install jQuery. Let's test and see what happens. So our test environment is configured to use JS DOM and with this we can use all the DOM capabilities inside our JS environment. So first we are mocking the fetch user. Actually my, my implementation doesn't have anything but a real implementation will go and fetch the user from some server. And here it's setting the body of the document which have a span with the username ID and a button. And this will require the display user, which is not a method, it, it is a module that will run, once required will run this code. And here it is setting a click listener to the button. And here we are mocking the implementation of the fetch current user to return a user with the full name Johnny Cash and the and as logged in and here we are using the jQuery to trigger the click so it asserts that the fetch current user has been called and it expects that the username text will be equal joining cache logged in which will be the case if it renders correctly this this user full name and the logged in and logged out and the interesting part is that you can use both jQuery on the implementation and also on the test to manipulate the, the clicks and the divs, etc.